I am Enfield Police Chief Alaric Fox. I and the men and women of this agency are pleased and privileged to serve this community. We believe we do so in a way that is consistent with the high expectations that you rightfully set for us. Unfortunately, there are several limitations imposed by our physical building that impact our ability to provide these services. The town seeks to address these concerns with a facility addition that will be funded 84% by state funding. Please allow me to introduce you to some of the men and women of this department that can better describe these areas of concern. Hi, I'm Captain Jeff Golden. Today we are in our evidence room. Whenever there's heavy rain or heavy snow melt, we have a problem with our roof and it leaks. That comes through the ceiling tiles and potentially falls on important evidence, which then causes us to have to, in an emergency fashion, get back here with buckets and move evidence around so it's not damaged by that moisture. I'm Roberto Felici, the Enfield Police Department's training officer. Our current training room does not have a dedicated space where we can provide practical judgment-based training. The new proposed facility has this dedicated space. It allows us the opportunity to host regional and national training programs, which will in turn generate revenue for the town with student tuition fees. My name is Lieutenant Brian Nolan. I'm the Chief Firearms Instructor for the Enfield Police Department. The Enfield Police Department Firearms Range is a sand and gravel pit at the town transfer station. Due to its location and lack of on-site facilities, it causes wasted valuable training time traveling between the police department and the range. The range does not allow for interactive training scenarios or for no light, low light firing conditions. It also creates noise in the community. The proposed facility addition includes a dedicated indoor range space that allows us to control the lighting and environment and engage in vastly improved judgment and decision-based firearms simulations, making for better trained officers. I'm Steve Hall. I'm the Civilian Services Manager for the Enfield Police Department. I am standing here in the EPD IT workshop. This space was at one time a storage closet and has been adapted to serve in its current role. With the exponential jumps that technology has taken and the adaptation of those technologies by police agencies, the space allotted here has become sorely inadequate. The proposed addition to the facility would allow us to repurpose the training room to become a dedicated IT workshop and storage facility. We're currently down in the detective division where we have 10 assigned detectives. When this was built back in 1991, it was designed to have 10 persons working down here and we currently now have 16 personnel assigned down to the detective division. As you can imagine, this creates a void for workspace as we have no room for growth. And in addition to that, we also have some major cases that come down here where we have witnesses or suspects that we may be interviewing and it creates some confidentiality issues as well. I'm Officer Norma Navarro. I'm the School Resource Officer for Enfield High School. The Enfield Police Department does not currently have enough locker rooms for all our female police officers. The proposed facility addition will provide a locker for all our female employees. The Enfield Police Department parking lot is insufficient to handle the number of vehicles that need to park here. The problem is evident on a daily basis during shift changes when the oncoming shift arrives and the outgoing shift is yet to depart but is also seen regularly when our department hosts training classes. Police vehicles and employee vehicles regularly need to park in drive aisles and over top of curving. The proposed agency addition will provide adequate parking for both employee vehicles and department vehicles. I thank you for taking the time to watch this video and understand these areas of concern. We are proud of the relationship we enjoy with this community and we ask you to consider supporting this important undertaking.